Hi everybody, I'm Miss Beth and I'd like to welcome you back to the High Gas V Studio. This week we've been discussing a very famous sculptor by the name of Augusta Savage. She made her debut in the 1920s and 30s, which is pretty incredible because during that time women and people of color were not treated very fairly, and yet she was able to make an impact on the art world. After studying her sculptures, I thought, I think I want to play with some clay. So I dug up some of the clay that I have here in the studio, not in the backyard like she did. And I had several different types here in the studio. One is an air dry clay that I purchased. I really enjoy playing with that, but because it's an air dry clay, you've got to remember that if you're not done with your sculpture, you need to make sure you've got a baggie handy. You need to put it in a baggie and squish all the air out of it so that it doesn't dry before you're finished. Perhaps you've got so, just some Play-Doh at home. You can play with that. It's a lot of fun. And if you don't have either one of these, I'm going to put a recipe for homemade Play-Doh on our Pinterest page. I'm going to take this over to my art table to play with it. I want to show you a few things. First off, I want to show you how to make an armature out of a coat hanger. An armature is something that gives your clay support. Let's say you want to make a leg for a body, but when you sculpt it, suddenly the leg starts to kind of fold and is weak. Well, you can put a piece of wire or an armature inside the leg. Nobody will see it because it'll be covered in clay and it will give your clay sculpture some support. I have some sculpting tools here, little sticks and little pointy things and all kinds of little fun things to use on my clay. And maybe you've got some of these. I hope you do. You can use them. But if you don't, you can use things, just simple things that you can find around the house. Maybe a toothpick or a popsicle stick. And you can use these to make little lines or to make little eyes or to smooth things out. You don't need a lot of fancy tools. In fact, what I found is just using my fingers, these are some of the best tools out there. So I'm going to gather my clay. We're going to head over to the art table and we're going to play with some clay for a while. 